This is a universal atomic diesel that's in my 1982 Catalina and I'm going to change the water pump impeller today. This is my 5411 diesel engine in my Catalina 27 and I'm going to remove the impeller from the water pump. We start by removing all these screws with a flathead screwdriver. Now I think you can see that on the far left over here some blades are broken, one up here, the rest look okay. So I'm going to remove the snap ring that's holding the impeller on. Now it looks like it's going to come off pretty easily but I'm going to be careful not to have the shaft pull out. So I'm holding it here. So there's the impeller and you can see that it is torn up. So here's the impeller that I purchased. It's by, I got it from Torrenson Marine. These impellers are keyed in and you can see the key, the notch there in there. So I want to make sure that I get that in the key when I stick it in. Before I put this impeller in, I'm going to coat it with Vaseline. That's recommended. So I'm just putting quite a bit, liberally putting it on, on the impeller. Then I'm going to mix it in with my hands. So now I'm going to put it in. Well, I'm, I'm going to replace the snap ring. And, and I will tell you one thing about these pliers is that you need really small teeth on these snap ring pliers because the holes on the snap ring here are very small. So I actually filed these down to make this fit but if you have a really small set of uh, snap ring pliers for small teeth, you'll be okay. Okay, finally got the snap ring in. You know, to get the snap ring in, what I had to do was actually pull this shaft a little bit out and sneak the impeller on very carefully so I didn't push the shaft back. Otherwise, everything was flush and I couldn't get the snap ring on. So you have to bring it out just a teeny bit, not too much, or you'll mess up, just a little bit, and then ease the impeller on very gently, and then you can get the snap ring in the groove. Great, now it stays on very easily. So I'm oiling it up pretty well on the inside here. I'll replace it now. So there we go, the cover's on. The only thing that truly 
concerns me is that there could be parts of the impeller somewhere in my cooling system. 